Four Train Nation, what's going on? We have some news, uh, some big news. Uh, just to give you a bit of an oversight, one is about Framber Valdez and him possibly being put on the block. Uh, the other bit of news has to deal with Yamamoto. So before I even touch on those subjects, if you could hit that like, subscribe, and bell icon buttons, that would be greatly appreciated as it is, it is extremely helpful for the channel. Uh, I greatly appreciate it because it gives me great feedback on the content. And I want you guys to be at the front of the line to know what's going on when it goes on. We are on the road to 400 subscribers. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed and thank you all so much. Um, let's get into this. So Framber Valdez was uh, supposedly being possibly looked at to being put on the block by the Astros. This was reported a couple days ago. So the Astros were possibly looking to trade him, their 30-year-old left-handed starting pitcher. Now, there's a few teams that could definitely be involved in talks like that, especially if uh, those teams miss out on Yamamoto. Um, you've got the Dodgers. You've got the Giants, possibly. The Diamondbacks, the Mets. Maybe the Yankees. I don't think so much the Yankees. Um, you've got... A whole bunch of other teams that could be listed in that category. But six teams, unknown teams, have called the Astros about possibly acquiring the services of Framber Valdez. And this is huge because he can change the landscape of a pitching staff for a good minute. He's still got two years left of team control, so he's going to cost a pretty penny. Um... So that's something to keep in mind, but whoever does get him gets a durable left-handed starter with a really nice breaking ball. So that would be something to look at as well. Um, also, just before we get into the Yamamoto news, there's one other bits of news that I did want to put out. Uh, newly acquired Braves uh, uh, infielder uh, Matt Carpenter has been released by the Braves and they will pay the rest of his salary. So I just wanted to throw that out there. And I will put all the links in the description below, so don't worry about that. Um, also, let's get to this Yamamoto news. So there have been reports, conflicting reports now, I should say, but there were reports that Yamamoto had received two uh, $300 million offers from the Red Sox and the Giants. That is, in fact, not true. Uh, all these reports are conflicting, but Jeff Passan... Um, did say that there was no such uh, value offer put out there. Um, there were offers made, but the value of the offer was not put out. Uh, so the value offer has is still unknown. We do know that teams are putting in bids. Uh, tomorrow's when the bidding war is going to begin, really. We're think or even today, actually, the bidding war should have begun. So we're hoping by the end of this week, I'm going to think maybe Tuesday or tomorrow or Wednesday, the latest, uh, Yamamoto should make a decision. Decision There is a decision looming. Um, it could be the end of the week. But back to the whole conflicting reports issue is that with that being said, the only team that has been quiet on those Yamamoto fronts has been the Yankees. To me, this is a very good thing for the Yankees. This shows that they've been calculated. They've been strategically planning this. They are serious about him. They just had a second meeting with him today um, or yesterday. Um, and it was with a bunch of big names there and some uh, very influential people. So... We'll see how that goes. Not sure how that went. I'll get that out to you as soon as I can. But there are conflicting reports. Jeff Passan put that to bed, uh, saying that there were offers made, but no uh, money value uh, being put out there. Those are supposed to be kept quiet between the teams who are uh, bidding for Yamamoto services and Yamamoto's camp themselves. So that's the story from here. Um, I just want to also give a big shout out to a few people, Jason of 161 River Ave, uh, for, you know, 
keeping up with this and following this and getting me information as well when uh, when it's been needed. Uh, Uncle Tats on the Pinstripe Chronicles, you know, thank you for everything you've done. Um, and I look forward to continuing what we are doing and getting the Shamamoto news out to everybody. Also, NFE, great job, man, on putting the uh, uh, Yamamoto news out when it has broke. So good job on that. I also want to thank Dane Huber of NYY Underground. He is such a cool dude. Please check out NYYU, uh, 161 River Ave, The Pinstripe Chronicles, Chris the Flash. I want to shout out to uh, for being such a great content creator. And... Um, and a few with the strike zone. So check out all their channels and please like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon notification so you get all of their uh, content and be on the front of the line for that. So until next time, guys, have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you later.